<laughs> okay, so where do you find these hashtags? One place I showed you was to scoop from competition. Okay, that's nice and simple. Um, but the other place where it's um, uh, really consolidated for you is all-hashtag.com. I'll have Dave type that in there, all-hashtag.com. So I'll post this on my Facebook page as well uh, with the replay. And so um, what you do here is you go in and you, let's say I typed women, right, as one of my hashtags. It will then generate all the hashtags that deal with women. And so let's say I was like, okay, I will use, um, if, you're, if you're in the fashion industry, you'll want women of luxury, women first, you know, that type of thing. Um, and so you will take a look and you'll grab about three or four from each search you do so that you vary, all right? So again, in, um, you can also search what are the absolute top ones, right? And it will tell you all the top uh, uh, ones that are out there. And so again, here's ones for art, right? What are the top ones for art? Um, arts and artistic and artists. <laughs> you know, and my art and watercolor and paintings, okay? Now, and again, if you um, deal with animals, which I seem to have a lot of clients that deal with animals, <laughs> um, uh, this is your domain, okay? Instagram is your jam. Um, and you should be spending time here posting unbelievable, gorgeous pictures of animals <laughs> and uh, hashtagging them because it, this is a rabid environment for uh, pets. They have Instacats, which every post seems to get like 10 million um, hits, you know, it's just insane. And, and a lot of these dominant hashtags, um, if you get picked up by any of them and start to get promoted, um, uh, that's how you can go from 60 followers to, you know, 4,000 followers overnight. It's these hashtags and, and, and leveraging this type of, uh, these types of environments that give you the power to go big fast. All righty. Um, okay, so there are two places in Instagram that you can put your hashtags. The first is directly in the uh, post. So you can see here, um, this was my post from yesterday, social distancing, yes or no, blah, blah, and then um, a bunch of hashtags, okay? Um, the other way you can do it is to put it in the comments. And you'll notice here, um, you know, I'm, I'm leveraging lockdown, <laughs> uh, quarantine life, and COVID-19. Those are, again, very hot um, uh, tags right now that are trending and that's why you've got to pay attention to what those are going to be. Um, or you can post your hashtags in what's called the comments, right? And so if you take a look at this post that I had, I'm just going to move these. When I posted it, I didn't say nothing, you know, Las Vegas on the strip and then Las Vegas shuts down. I was there the day that Las Vegas was closing. All of the machines shut, the hotels closed, it was a ghost town in hours. Um, everybody was pretty well get, just getting kicked out. Um, and so it was an unbelievable. So um, I, this one is actually a joke, a, a, a little bit of a, a um, if you go check it out on my, on my Instagram, it was kind of a, a fun little skit that I did about it. Um, but I did a lot of Facebook Lives um, during that time, showing everybody what was happening, including I did a walk through a casino um, during that time, uh, because normally you can't have a camera anywhere near a casino, but there's nobody in it. So that was just kind of a, uh, you know, a behind the scenes. Remember I told you about your Facebook Lives, some, some of the VIP stuff you can see, right? So um, this allows you to uh, keep your um, post clean. So none of that would uh, appear in the post and then you immediately put it in the thing. So it all depends on you. There is no difference per se, but they do say, they do recommend that you keep any really high level, hard to get into um, uh, hashtags in your actual post and then po you can post the rest in the comments area. Uh, the thing is you want these to be relatively close together, okay? 
Um, but having said that, if I do post without comments and discover that, I actually go in and, and post comments to it, and sometimes it reinitiates the actual uh, original post. So you can play with that. And there's example of uh, what I put in that specific post. This is what I added after because then I started to leverage it as an opportunity to promote my Facebook Live. And this was uh, the, the one specifically focused on how to create an online program guaranteed to sell. And so got a lot of activity on that one. 